I know. If you want to play. Talk about cuteness overload. These eight-week-old Labrador puppies are like fur-covered marshmallows, soft and sweet. They're getting some playtime at Sonoma County Airport in Santa Rosa before they're put on a plane for a flight to Ohio. We move our puppies to their volunteer puppy raisers across the country who uh, teach them commands and socialize them until they're about a year and a half. Canine Companions is a national organization headquartered in Santa Rosa. The puppies will be trained to be service animals and donated to those who need them. Open and close doors and drawers, uh, turn on and off lights. Uh, dogs that are matched with veterans with post-traumatic stress disorder will learn anxiety and nightmare interruption. The pandemic shut down the ability to fly the pups on commercial flights. That's when Canine Companions reached out to local private pilots. I have uh, meetings in Ohio and uh, be there for a day or so. Um, I'll be, uh, uh, and anytime I go on a trip, I check in with the dispatcher for Canine and we uh, uh, take dogs whenever we can. The puppies are loaded onto this King Air for the five and a half hour flight to Dayton. How does it feel just as a pilot to be able to do something like this? It's wonderful. Um, we have, uh, I've transported uh, oh, over 50 dogs uh, at this point um, and have another trip next week to Seattle. The president of Sonoma Jet Center says he's trying to spread the word so other pilots step up to help. Um, on my second flight, it was to Denver and there was a another pilot standing there and he said what's going on and i explained it to him and he said oh that sounds great and he started uh, flying flights and i think he's done two or three the puppies made it to ohio right on time and are now on their way to becoming valuable service animals for those in need all thanks to some bay area pilots